Hello everyone, my name is Leo and with this video we share a demo review of the Line 6 Pod Express. First of all, we will hear the unit in action in a demo song, then we will describe the unit in details, then we will hear more sounds and finally I will give you my two cents. Let's start with the demo song, which is a pretty unusual song for the channel, but well, I'm not afraid. Let's describe the unit. First of all, it offers 7 amps and 7 cups. The picture in the screen shows the amps selection, which is uh, pretty strange, I would say. No Plexi, no Deluxe Reverb, no Vox. I have uh, a mixed feeling about this choice of amps. On one side, I found odd that it offers only 7 amps without including the most iconic ones in the history. On the other hand, Line 6 has been pretty brave to offer such an original set of amps. Of course, I would suggest you to check out this list to verify if it is in line with your needs. Furthermore, so far, the Express does not allow us to load our own IRs, which I think is a pretty big limitation that maybe will be overcome with future firmware upgrades. On the other hand, we have a pretty complete set of effects with a noise gate, four distortions, four modulations, four delays, four reverse, and we can have all of them active at the same time. I mean, the signal chain allows us to load four effects plus the noise gate, plus the amp and the cab, which is nice. Our Effects, amps and cab settings can be saved in 21 presets, which is a pretty good amount for, uh, of presets for such a small device. The unit does not offer MIDI. I don't know if there is the possibility to manage MIDI over USB, but I don't think it is possible as it is not mentioned in the user manual. As regards I.O., we have a mono guitar input unbalanced stereo out and an headphone out. No effect loop is available here and therefore it is gonna be pretty hard to integrate this unit in a modern pedal board as without any effect loop we are obliged to place effects only before or after the Express. The Express offers a 30 second stereo looper, which is of course a nice option to have. As regards ADA conversion and USB channels, the Express offers 24 bits at 48 kHz converters and we can use it as an audio interface with four USB-C channels. So here we have a pretty nice option with four USB channels, as basically the unit allows us, for instance, to record at the same time the dry DI signal of our guitar and the stereo effects in separate tracks for reamping purposes. In terms of usability, I found it pretty easy. Basically, you have a big knob in the center to choose the amp and the relevant cab. Then you can change the setting of the amp, like the treble, mid, bass, etc., pushing the alternate button and using the four smaller knobs. These four, these four smaller knobs that also change the type of effects as primary functions. I mean, without pressing this button here. Unfortunately, we don't have a computer app 
at least so far, which honestly would be pretty handy and useful in order to set up our tones and manage our presets. In terms of power needs, in the user manual there is written 500 milliamperes minimum current and 4.5 watt minimum power. On the other hand, I have been told that in some forum a Line 6 guy wrote that the unit runs at 150 milliamperes. Furthermore, it can be battery powered with three AA batteries. The dimensions are shown in the screen and the weight is 350 grams. So it is very light, which is nice of course, even if this unit is really plasticky and it feels a little bit too much cheap, I would say. Lastly, the price of the unit is 217 euros and 180 dollars. So this is very affordable. More considerations about the features of the unit and the pros and cons in my two cents section of this video. Let's now hear some more sounds. Final considerations here, and please notice that I bought this unit with my own money and this video is not sponsored. Furthermore, of course, these are gonna be my personal opinions and you may not agree with me, and this is totally fine. So let's summarize the pros and cons. Its lightness and compactness are for sure a pro, even if this is also a consequence of the fact that it is made out of plastic and well, it feels very cheap. And of course, it does not give me the impression, so to say, to last for a long time. But of course, we have to wait and see the proof of time. Another pros is the set of effects, which is nice and very useful and allows this unit to be really an all-in-one device in a, very in a very small format. I mean, as I'm not an effect geek, I'm totally fine with the collection of effects included in this unit and I can really play a wall jig without further pedals. On the other hand, we, ha we don't have an external loop, therefore it is gonna be impossible to integrate, let's say, our favorite chorus in the effect chain, not having an effect loop at our disposal. Another pro I would mention are the four USB tracks available while recording, which are very handy in order to record 
two stereo tracks with effects and the DI track in a specific uh, DO track for reamp purposes. For reamping purposes. Two other cons I would mention are the missing possibility to load IRs and the missing app to control the unit with our computer that both, I hope, will be overcome with future firmware updates. Lastly, I would mention the AMP choice, which is pretty brave from Line 6 as they are omitting some famous AMPs like the Plexi, the Fender Deluxe Reverb, etc. And I would strongly encourage you to check out the list of AMP available to verify if it is in line with your taste. So all in all, this is a nice little device with some extreme choices like the plastic envelope, the choice of amps, the missing IRs, and some very attractive pros, like the list of effects available for such a small device. It's definitely up to us, up to you, to decide whether this unit fits your, our needs or not. Furthermore, it is also pretty hard to compare it to compare how it sounds versus, for instance, the IR2, as the amp choice is pretty different and it is hard to find, to find common amps. We have now reached the end of this video, I hope you enjoyed and if you did it, please subscribe to my channel, ring the notification bell and leave a thumb up, as it would be of a great help. If you're interested in my IRs or in my camper profiles, you can check out the link in the card above or description below, where there is also a link to a playlist of songs on mine. Thank you so much for watching and see you soon. Bye bye.